Hello everybody, this is Kianda the Smart Home and my name is Ali Reza. Continuing tutorials related to including different Z-Wave devices into gateways and test their compatibility. In today's video, I'm going to include water or electrical heating thermostat from MCO Home to Fibaro HC3 Lite. The one I have is M7, which is a Z-Wave Plus enabled device. Using this thermostat, you can control wall mount boilers, electrical heating systems, water valve or pumps, and etc. While this thermostat has a built-in temperature sensor, external temperature sensor can be connected to it. An example of using external temperature sensor connected to this thermostat is controlling water valves. Also, this thermostat has humidity sensor. Okay, let's dive to the mission. In order to include or let's say add the device to Fibaro Home Center, in Fibaro UI, I click on settings on the left panel. In the settings categories, I select devices. Then in the devices page, I click on plus sign. I tick NWI option then increase learning mode duration to 100 seconds then click on start adding fibaro enters into learning mode as you see here while fibaro is in learning mode by entering the device into learning mode the inclusion is done okay let's enter the device into including mode the inclusion must be done in normal working interface so I have to set the thermostat to on in normal working interface press and hold S4 this button is S1 S2 S3 S4 and S5 so press and hold S4 till three lines are displayed this means the thermostat is not added to any Z-Wave network if you see a number here, an exclusion is necessary to remove the device from the Z-Wave network and add it again. Okay, let's enter it one more time to inclusion mode. So after that, I press or let's say touch S4 one more time. The inclusion is done. 17 is the ID of the thermostat in Fibaro home center. Device added and configured. I navigate to dashboard. This is the thermostat. This is the temperature sensor and this one is humidity sensor. I open the thermostat. Okay, using Fibaro UI, we can change mode of the thermostat to off heat, energy heat. This is the same as echo mode and away. Also, you can change heating set point, energy save heating set point, away heating set point. Let's test the device. I set the mode to off, click set. Thermostat is immediately set to off. I set it to hit, then click set. It's working flawlessly. Let's increase the set point or let's decrease it. Set. It is applied. In front of thermostat state, we have Heating. By looking at the display of thermostat, you see the heating icon. So we have the state of thermostat 2 using Fibaro Home Center. Let's decrease the set point in order to set the thermostat to idle. Here immediately you see the heating change to idle. Okay, as you see, if I change if I change the 
settings of the thermostat using its button immediately leafy bottle shows that let's decrease the set point you see okay so this thermostat is fully compatible in Fibaro Home Center 3 Lite. I have tested this device with Fibaro Home Center 3. I got the same result. Let's talk about the thermostat itself. This thermostat is available in three modes. Passive valve boiler, active normal close valve and electrical heating. The one I have is electrical heating. By looking at the terminals on the back panel of the thermostat, you can find out which model is this. The one I have has one neutral and one hot wire terminal, one output and two TTs. TT terminals are related to connecting external sensor to the thermostat. So mine is electrical heating thermostat. Let's talk about the secret menu of the thermostat. In order to enter the secret menu, S3 and S5 must be held simultaneously. Here we have to add the code. It is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. P1 is the temperature upper limit. By default, it is set to 37. You can increase it, for example, to 80 degrees. Based on what you need and what you are going to control. P2 is temperature setting button limit. By default, it is set to five. P4 is time format. P5 is negative dead band. By default, it is 1.5. You can change it. P6 is positive dead band. By default, it is set to zero. I set it to 0 0.5. P7 is antifreeze temperature setting. So this thermostat has antifreeze protection. P8 is protection temperature. By default, it is set to 55. I set the upper limit to 80, so I set this item to 85. P9 is power failure option. By default, it is set to off, as you see. OPN means device turn to on state. PRU means device return to last state after power failure. So I set it to PRU. P10 is the time of temperature change. P11 is indoor temperature calibration. P12 is beep volume. P13 is backlight brightness. P14 is outdoor temperature calibration. P15 is related to control based on external temperature sensor. By default, it is set to off. If you want to use external temperature sensor, you have to set this parameter to on. P16 is display based on external temperature. By default, it is off. I set it to on as I want to use external temperature sensor, for example. 
P17 is temperature format. By default is set to Celsius. You can set it to Fahrenheit. And P18 is restore factory setting. In order to restore the factory setting, change this parameter to 55, then press S3. So by setting this item to 55 and touching S3, the device is reset to factory default. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.